Hi there, welcome back to Step by Step. In this song workshop, I'm going to teach you how to play the classic All Right Now by Free. <laughs> Well, this has got to be one of the most easily recognisable riffs of all time and although it's theoretically quite easy to play because it's only three chords A, D and G it's actually a little bit trickier than that so let me show you how it goes Firstly you need to put on an open A major chord Instead of using the traditional open shape, you're going to use a bar, so you're going to lay your first finger across the second, third and fourth strings, just behind the fret wire. And then your little finger, your fourth finger, is going to hold down the top two strings at the fifth fret. So you've got two bars on there. You've got a bar with your first finger and a bar on the top two strings with your fourth finger. Then you're going to strum the top five strings from the A string, strum down and then mute. <laughs> I'll do that again. One down strum and a mute. Then you can take your little finger off. You're just going to play the four inside strings now. Then your second finger goes on to fret three on the B string. And your third finger goes on to fret four on the D string. Strum those four inside strings again. And then take those two fingers off and strum the four inside strings again. So that second part should be so I'll put those two bits together from the beginning one down strum and a mute take your little finger off and that mute next keeping the bar in position if you hook that little finger round and hold down the fifth fret on the fourth string you really need to hook that round so you're not touching the the G string and your second finger goes on to the third fret on the second string and then what you do now is you pluck the A string first then the three strings the D, G and the B string I'll do that again, the open A so you play in the open A string and then down, down, up, down and then you take that third, uh, fourth finger off, put your third finger on the fourth string at the fourth fret and do the same thing again, hit the open air string. Then take those two fingers off, open air again, and then the chord. I'll just do that apart again. Little finger on the fifth fret, second finger on the third fret, second string. Hit the air string first, then the chord, down, down, up, down. Change. So let's put all that together from the beginning. Down strum and then mute. Take your little finger off. And then you reach across with your little finger to the fifth fret. Second finger goes on that third fret. Hit the open air first. Take your little finger off. Fourth finger on. Both fingers off, hit the, hit the open A string first and then the chord. And again. And again. Chorus riff for all right now is basically the same three chords, A, D and G, but it's played higher up the fretboard at their fifth and seventh fret positions. <laughs> Hold down a power chord 
at the seventh fret on the fourth and the third strings. So your first finger is in fret seven on the fourth string. Your third finger is holding down fret nine on the uh, third string, and that's an A power chord or an A five chord. You need to strum that three times. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Make sure you only hit the two inside the two middle strings. Again. One, two, three. Then you play fret nine on the fifth string. One pluck. Fret seven on the fifth string. One pluck. So I'll put those two parts together. And again. Then you go to a G power chord at the fifth fret on the fourth and third strings. Hit that chord once, middle two strings only. Your first finger needs to go back to fret four. So you can either keep your third finger where it is or you can change to your fourth finger to make that stretch easier. Hit the two middle strings again twice and go back to the very first A power chord and hit it once. So pull that together. Now let's look at the guitar solo for All Right Now. This scale is played using two scales, the A major pentatonic and the A minor pentatonic. If you want more information on those scales, just have to take a look at the step-by-step -step beginners modules and you'll find lessons on the two pentatonic scales there. I've broken the solo up into ten phrases, I've slowed it right down and also on the screen you'll see the timing for the location in the song so you can easily find the phrase that you're looking for in your media player. Okay, let's take a look at the All Right Now guitar solo. For the first phrase, start by plucking the third string open and then quickly hammer on with your second, uh, first finger to the second fret. So pluck and hammer on. And again, pluck and hammer on. Then you're going to pluck the second fret and slide to fret 4. And do that again. Then pluck and slide back. Fret 4 to 2. So I'll show that again starting with the uh, open string hammer on. 2 to 4 slide and again. And one more time, hammer on. 2 to 4 slide and again. 4 to 2 slide. For the next phrase, s um, slide from fret 2 on the third string to fret four and then back and again from fret two to fret four and back
hold on the fifth fret on the second string you're going to pluck that and as you pluck it you catch the top string open at the same time then you pluck it again and slide to fret 7 both strings again pluck and slide back so you're plucking the top two strings there, the top string is ringing open and you're fretting the second string at the fifth fret pluck slide up to the seventh and then pluck and slide back again and again Start with a quick slide from fret 2 to 4 on the 3rd string, then pluck fret 5 on the top string, play fret 4 on the G again, bend and release it, slide back to 2, and then slide from fret 5 on the 2nd string all the way to fret 10, and sustain. Try that again from fret 2 to 4, slide, fret 5 on the top, bend and release, back to 2, and then a slide from 5 to 10. And again. Hold down fret 9 on the 3rd string and fret 10 on the 2nd string. Pluck fret 9 and then with your 3rd finger you're going to hammer on to fret 11. So pluck and then hammer on. And then pluck the 2nd string that you're holding down with your 2nd finger. And you need to repeat that 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And then leave go, put your third finger in fret 12, pluck and bend and hold. And again, and you, you do that whole thing twice. So starting again, you got your first finger fret 9 on the third string, second finger in fret 10 on the second string, pluck the third string, hammer on to fret 11 with your third finger, and then pluck the second string and repeat that five times. One, two, Three, four, five times, bend, and again. For the next phrase, hold down fret 12 on the 2nd string, put your 2nd finger and your 3rd finger behind it, so all 3 fingers are on the same string. You're going to pluck and bend and release. Play fret 10 on the B string, fret 11 on the G, fret 10 on the B again. So I'll do that again, bend and release, 10, 11, 10. And you repeat that, but the second time, when you do the bend your little finger needs to hold down fret 12 on the top string and this time you pluck both strings you still do the bend and release but you keep the top string straight and pluck both strings so you've got your bend and release fret 10 11 10 and then you repeat that again so your little finger goes on fret 12 and you pluck both strings bend and release So I'll put that phrase together. The first time you just do the single note bend and release. The second time the double string. Only bend the uh, the second string, no, not, not the top string. And again. Just play that whole phrase again. Now we've moved up to fret 17 
if you bar across uh, the top two strings with your first finger this phrase is very similar to the one we did earlier you're going to pluck the second string and hammer on with your third finger to fret 20 and then pluck the top string that you're holding down with your first finger and you repeat that five times nice and smooth one two three four five times and then this 20th fret on the B string pluck bend and hold so again one two three four five and again pluck the top string at the 17th fret then the 17th fret on the B string so you play those two notes bend and release the top string 20th fret pull off to the 17th hammer back on then drop on the next string bend the 20th fret top string 17th bend the 20th again so I'll show that phrase again 17th fret top string 17th fret B string 20th fret on the top bend and release pull off hammer on roll down onto the 20th on the B string pluck bend 17 on the top 20th bend on the B string put all that together and again This phrase is similar to, the, to one of the phrases we did earlier, where you bar across the top two strings at the 17th fret, and that kind of thing. But uh, this time, you start by adding, uh, start with by plucking the top string first before you move into the technique. So start with the top string, and then five repeats, bends and bend again. So I'll repeat that again. more or less the same as we did before but just that first note instead of starting on the B string you start on the, the top E and you've got the two bends on the end that time play fret 17 on the top string and then on the second string 20th fret on the top string bend and release twice Pull off from 20 to 17 on the top string and then play fret 20, roll on to fret 20 on the B string and bend. And again, 17 on the top, 17 on the B, bend and release twice, 20th fret on the top string. Pull off to 17, 20 on the top, roll down, bend. And I'll show you that through again. Pluck the 17th fret on the top string. On the B string, play fret 20, bend and release. Fret 19, bend and release, semitone bend. And then play fret 17 and sustain. So fret 17 on the top, 20 bend and release on the B string. 19 bend and release. 17 sustain and again well I hope you've enjoyed learning how to play all right now and I hope you found this lesson useful and easy to understand and don't forget if you have any more questions regarding the chords scales or techniques 
that you've that we've covered in this lesson. You can find information on that in the step by step syllabus. Also, we'd love to hear any feedback that you may have regarding this lesson. Uh, so feel free to contact us. Well, that's it for this workshop, and I hope to see you in the next workshop soon.